my supervisors for this project were Mrs. Sean Guerra, Dr. Li Xuan Liu, and Dr. Ed Wong. In this presentation, I'll discuss the purpose the engineering design process use, the literature review, the MCP, MCMP model work, and finally, conclusion and recommendations for the project. My, respons my responsibilities for, this, for the second portion of the thesis project was to develop a model to simulate the asophic dose. As a result, MCMP was used in, as the software for this due to its features and capabilities in order to compare the in order to compare the I guess the dose readings produced by the dose media, dose media built by Ali Ahmed and actual dose readings with the goal to accurately measure the dose. Throughout the project, this is the engineering design process that was followed and the following stages were followed, were completed. For for problem identification, it was identified in this project that, uh, that there was a need to come up with the most accurate method to calculate the dose in MCMP. For preliminary ideas, it was mostly comprised of trial and error work, as this was, this was my first time using MCMP. For the analysis portion, the results produced via different methods in MCMP were analyzed based on the dose results. In the decision stage, it was mainly based on which calculation methods should be used. Overall, the refinement stage occurred over the duration of the second semester as the coding and variable used for the modeling work were continuously refined. Before I begin with introducing the results from my project, I'm going to start with introducing the background to MCMP. MCMP, which is also known as the Monte Carlo End Particle Transport Code was developed by Los Alamos uh, National Laboratory in the late 1950s, where Fortran used it as a programming language. As the name implies, MCMP uses the Monte Carlo method, which was also developed at Los Alamos, in order to compute and trace the movement of some atomic particles, such as neutrons and photons. This led to MCMP to be used commonly in various nuclear applications such as nuclear reactor design and radiation science. MCMP is a powerful software and has a number of built-in functions that can be used it based on the application. For example, MCMP can be used to model an environment for a preset number of iterations and is capable of dividing the model environment into co numerous compartments. The picture shown at the bottom of the slide is an example of this feature. In addition, custom materials can be specified based on the elements that the materials compose of. Furthermore, radiation sources can be specified to be in various shapes and generate different particles of various energy groups. Here's a picture of MCMP of the MCMP visual editor, which was developed to visualize the environment based on the code. Aside from the examples mentioned in the previous slides, one of the important functions available in MCMP is its tallying functions. As the name implies, the tallying functions records, records the number of particle collisions and tracks average over a, a set number of iterations in order to produce a final result. Here's a table of the seven types of tallies available in MCMP. In these two images, this shows a visualization of how MCMP traces the particle movement and collisions in all of the iterations. In MCMP, a water slab phantom based on ISO standards was first modeled, which has the dimensions of 30 cm length by 15 cm width by 30 cm height, with a 0.25 cm thick PMMA wall at the front face and a 1 cm thick PMMA wall on other faces. The picture of the slab phantom shown in the slide is placed in, the, in a horizontal orientation. The inside of the slab phantom was then modeled to be filled mm. with water and then placed inside a sphere filled with air. Mm. Um, a 10 micro Curie Amir 241 source, a 1 micro Curie Cobalt 60 source, and a 1 micro Curie Cesium 137 source were modeled in MCMP as the radio isotopes for the radi radiation source. 
picture on the left shows how it looks like in MCMP, where the sphere phantom placed in a sphere filled with air. The, the picture on the right shows, shows the slap phantom up close inside the air sphere. Aside from the various components that need to be modeled, there were two different modeling scenarios that were considered, with each scenario ran for one million iterations. The first modeling scenario considers the difference between disk sources and point sources in those three measurements, where, where, the, dose, where the source was placed at increments of 1 cm from 1 to 10 cm from the slab phantom, and at increments of 10 cm from 10 to 100 centimeters from the slab phantom. For the second modeling scenario, the source were, was placed at fixed distances at incident angles of 0, 45, 90, and 180 degrees to the normal of the front, phantom front face, as you can see on the slide, in order to determine the differences in dose rate measurements due to angular response, and also to compare against the results produced by Gabriel Avezeno's calibration experiments. The main focus of the thesis body was to calculate the absolute dose for all of the configura configurations in each scenario. Since an absolute dose is energy deposited by radiation per unit mass, the F6 tally would be suitable as this produces the result as an energy density value in the unit of micro mega electron volts per gram. However, the tally results will need to be adjusted in order, to, uh, in order to produce a dose value based on the activity of the radiation source. This is due to the fact that MCMP results by default normalizes the uh, results to one photon per iteration and the units that are needed for comparison purposes need to be in microsieverts per hour. Since a large number of graphs were produced from the MCMP results, I have posted two examples of the graphs generated from the data points. The graph shown in the slide is based on the results from one of the uh, from one of the configurations, which used COBO60 as a radiation source, with the source placing individual scenarios at 1 cm increments from a distance range of 1 cm to 10 cm from the source. And in this slide, the graph shown demonstrates the differences in dose rate re results between co a COBO60 point source and a COBO60 disk source at 10 cm increments from a dis distance range of 10 cm to 100 cm from the source. As you can see in, the in this slide and the previous slide, the differences between point sources and disk sources were very small that it would be considered negligible. As a result, the sources were modeled as point sources, point sources in the calibration experiment, both when modeling the calibration experiments. After comparing the experimental results to the MCMP results, it was discovered that MCMP produces, MCMP produces those results that were much lower relative to the experimental results. This is due to the fact that hand calculations, hand calculations were used to, to determine setup for the calibration results were incorrect. And MCMP, MCMP produced low, lower values than the experimental results. As a result, Michael Shear was used it instead in order to compare against the modeled experimental setup. In this graph, this, this displays the comparison between the Michael Shear results and the MCMP results. There are still some devi deviations between the two sets of data since the Michael Shear results were approximated due to the limited features in comparison to MCMP. In conclusion, <coughs> the modeling work was completed and performed as planned. However, since the dose results were lower than experimental results due to the experimental setup, new experimental results would be required in order to use MCMP as the accurate composition. And finally, I'd like to thank Mr. Jordan Gilbert and Dr. Ed Wallen for the help with the MCMP modeling work. I would also like to thank my supervisors, Mr. Sean Pereira and Dr. Lee Sean Liu for the guidance and support. I would also like to, finally, I'd like to thank Mr. Gabriel Alpizano and Mr. Ali Abbott for the support with the project and timely help. Thank you very much. the MCMP code by yourself, correct? Yes. Was there a verifier on the code? Sorry? Did anyone verify your code? Yes, um, I had um, I, have a, I had a number of uh, people. I had uh, jo actually Mr. So John Gilbert and Dr. Emily helping me out with the MCMP modeling work and verifying that these were indeed set up correctly. Yes? 
was wondering, uh, MTP is a stochastic method, right? I was wondering how yes. your uh, results might compare with experimental results if it was like a deterministic method. If you use the ter deterministic method to get the results, would it differ how to compare? Um, MCMP, um, since we are um, modeling it, you know, uh, since we are modeling the MCMP over, as I'm mentioning, and over a million iterations, and that when you model it after modeling through that many iterations, then the results can be fine. And well, it, it's kind of like a, it's, it's a random, it's a random, more of a random process. You use random variables instead of using deterministic methods. So I was just wondering what the difference would be, or did you look into it? Uh, we it wasn't really looked into because because it was a uh, well for one if, uh, in the real world you would have random movement correct and MCMP uh, would perform it that uh, ra will randomize the movement okay. yes uh, first of all did you use X five or six F six uh, MCMP did you use version X version five uh, or version, version six sorry. And you said that your experimental results were deviating from your MCMP results, but the MCMP results were under your experimental results. What kind of deviation are we talking here? Five percent, twenty percent? It was a. It was. It was a pretty. It was a pretty big difference uh, due to, as I mentioned, uh, we listen. Uh, we had some problems with the calculation then uh, for the experimental setup, which um, were correctly, which were. Which we didn't have time to correct uh, due to time constraints. Yeah, okay, so it's asking what percentage? Is it fifty percent or hundred? It was, it was uh, by a factor of two. So fifty percent. Yes. Yeah. Which is um, so was a million iterations enough? Were the errors in your actual code? Like what were the errors in your tally? The errors in the tally were actually less than one. If MCMP is in Fortran at the moment, has anyone looked at updating it with something like MATLAB or whatever, or different software? Uh, the thing, the problem with is that um, the thing with MCMP is that this is um, one of the, this is a industry, this this is used by the industry. Um, MATLAB, while it is a mathematical code itself, would uh, would. It, while it, it is updated often, but then uh, this is more used to by the industry. This is this is uh, set up for the nuclear industry, which doesn't update. Which it, no, it does <laughs> update. It, it actually does update, and there is more of a there is more technical support, if you could, uh, for the lack of a better word, for MCMP when it comes to when it comes to um, say certain functions that can help with that there's. There's always you know, users that are using it.